when you do this, the narcissist will ghost you. The narcissist doesn't care about being liked or respected by you, which is how they're able to do the things they do. Because all they really want is to be adored. They want to be desired by you. But for that to continue, they can never let you have them. Because you can't desire something that you already possess. If you don't desire them in that way, then they will settle for your fear of them instead. They will dominate and control you. They will treat you as their subordinate. They expect you to obey them unquestioningly because it's about their needs. It's all about them. The narcissist will ghost you. They will give you the silent treatment and you won't know why they're not talking to you. So you will try to find a solution. You will try to think of something to say in a way that they can hear it because you assume that you must have done something wrong and you want them to like you. So you're constantly walking on eggshells. You're extremely cautious about your words and actions because they're easily offended or upset, which leaves you very confused and off balance because nothing is safe or secure. So you're experiencing a lot of anxiety and you begin to lose confidence in yourself and your abilities, which is exactly what they want because they are ghosting you for a reason and they are ghosting you because you refuse to be controlled. You refuse to succumb to their will and instead you continue to resist pressure and temptation so that is why they ghost you. To put you in a position where you are worrying about what they think. Because when someone stops talking to you, it's because they want to dominate and control you. But when they first met you, they treated you like you were special, like they had never met anyone like you. But as time went by, they stopped texting you. They stopped answering your phone calls. As time went by, you stopped hearing from them because you didn't act in the way that they wanted you to. You didn't say things in the way that they wanted you to say it, which left you very confused. Because you couldn't understand what you did wrong but if you confront them on it, they will gaslight you. They will say that you're paranoid. They will call you negative. But they are ghosting you for a reason. They're doing it to put you off balance, to make you worry about what they think, which is not normal. It's very unhealthy behavior because it's just a power struggle to see who will submit under pressure, to see who will win, to see who will end the silence first. It's all a game to the narcissist. In the beginning, they put you on a pedestal. They pulled you up and then they pushed you off. They ghosted you because now they've got their eye on something else. They're looking for the next shiny new toy after they've left you in a state of confusion to where you don't know what's going on. If you confront them on it, they will attack you. 
They will gaslight you. They will devalue you. And you will struggle to make sense of it. But they're doing it for a reason. They're ghosting you to keep you off balance. So that you will try to come back to them and have a conversation. And then they have an opportunity to attack you. Because they believe love is for fools. They see love as a weakness. So when you try to love them or when you try to understand what they're doing, they see you as being weak. So now they can act free from restraint or control. They can dish it out on you. They can treat you however they choose to. They can punish you. And it gives them supply. Because it puts them in the dominant position. But while you're going through it, you don't understand what's going on. Because you're looking for a logical and rational reason for their behavior. When it's actually not something that you can fix. Because it's not even your problem to solve. So you can't solve it because you're not dealing with a rational person. You're dealing with someone who is not in accordance with reason or, or logic. Someone who is only doing it to create emotional instability. To make you question yourself. To make you insecure. To see how much you're willing to tolerate so that you lose control of yourself. And then they can mold you into whatever they want you to be. They can turn you into their puppet. And then they can be the puppet master. They can be the one who is pulling the strings. Because they already know what they're doing. They're just hoping that you will question yourself rather than questioning their behavior. Because people with a strong sense of self will understand that if you are in an adult relationship and the other person is not texting you back or calling you for several days or they disappear for a couple of weeks, then that is not normal. And they're not looking for a person like that. They don't want to be around someone who has a strong sense of self. Because they can't mold a person like that. They can't turn them into their puppet. So if they realize that you have a strong sense of self, they will see you as a lost cause. And they will ghost you. Because they're looking for someone who is more like clay. Someone who they can mold into whatever they want them to be. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you could donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You could book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.